Now let's move on to discuss the kidneys, including the anatomy of the kidney and the functional unit, the nephron. Let's use this slide to describe the sectional anatomy of the kidney. Surrounding the outside of the kidney is an outer layer of fibrous capsule. The outermost layer is the cortex and the inner layer is the medulla. Within the medulla are renal pyramids. There are also minor and major calyx. Between the renal pyramids is the renal column. The hilum of the kidney is the location of the renal pelvis and the exit for the ureter. The kidneys are encapsulated in a tough layer of fibrous connective tissue. Surrounding this tissue is a layer of fat that provides insulation and padding for these organs. An outer fibrous layer surrounds each kidney, the renal fascia, and attaches the kidneys to the abdominal wall. Blood vessels as well as the ureters enter and exit the medial side of each kidney in an area known as the hilum. The following is a clinical note on renal failure or kidney failure. Renal failure is a condition in which the kidneys are unable to filter waste from the blood. There is a decrease in the glomerular filtration rate which leads to the higher than normal levels of molecules in the bloodstream such as creatinine. This condition can be classified as either acute kidney injury or chronic kidney failure. The symptoms include an increase in the urea concentration in the blood, this leads to vomiting and diarrhea, excess blood phosphates which causes muscle cramps, dizziness, low blood pressure and eventually damage to the other organs in the body. The treatment of kidney failure is the management of any disease influencing processes if present, dialysis and kidney transplantation if it's possible. The following is a clinical note on a technique used to treat some patients with kidney disease, dialysis. Dialysis is an artificial means of filtering the blood. Blood flows through specialized membranes similar in principle to glomerular filtration. Waste products are filtered out and then the blood is returned into the patient's circulation. Hemodialysis is typically done through an arterial shunt for access to the patient's blood supply. Another method is peritoneal dialysis. This involves filtering in the abdominal cavity where the peritoneal membrane serves as a semipermeable membrane. A sterile solution containing glucose is delivered into the peritoneal cavity and after a predetermined period of time, the dialysate is drained out of the body. Here's a clinical challenge exam question based on what you've learned so far in this tutorial. Which segment of the kidney is labeled in the image below? Is it A, the cortex, B, the minor calyx, C, the medulla, D, the renal pelvis, or E? None of the answers is correct. Here's the answer to the question. This question tests your knowledge of the anatomy of the kidney. The correct answer for this question was C. The medulla was labeled in the image. The renal medulla. The internal anatomy of the kidney is quite complex. The cortex is the outer area as we mentioned and the medulla is the inner compartment. The medulla contains the renal pyramids which contain the functional unit of the kidneys, the nephrons. The nephrons drain into the minor calyx then the major calyx, the renal pelvis, and finally the ureter. A renal lobule is made up of the renal pyramid, the overlying area of renal cortex, and the adjacent tissues. In order to perform their function, the kidneys need a steady blood supply. The renal arteries deliver blood to the kidneys, and these arteries rise along the posterior lateral surface of the abdominal aorta. The kidneys receive a vast amount of blood that totals approximately between 20 and 25 percent of the total cardiac output. Approximately 1200 mLs of blood is filtered through the kidneys each minute. Within the kidney, the renal artery divides into the segmental arteries and then into the interlobar arteries. 
afferent arterioles branch from each cortical radiate artery to supply the individual nephrons themselves. The renal veins drain the kidneys and deliver the venous blood to the inferior vena cava. Kidney innervation. The urination or micturition reflex refers to the processing of information sent from stretch receptors in the bladder to the lower region of the spinal cord. This impulse then passes to the cortex neurons where they initiate a subconscious desire to urinate. The renal nerves innervate the kidneys and travel along the path of the renal artery to reach the individual nephrons. The renal nerves that innervate the kidneys and ureters are made up primarily of sympathetic postganglionic fibers from the superior mesenteric ganglion. 